20 years old and from London, the suspect would have known these streets. Local police say Nathaniel Veltman didn't have a criminal record, but had been in contact with police elsewhere before. It was hate that motivated him, investigators say, revealing little else about his background. So far, uh, we don't know of his membership in any uh, specific hate group. The suspect was apprehended Sunday night in this mall parking lot where police say he stopped his truck and was arrested without incident seven kilometers from the scene of the attack. I mean, there's so much online in terms of material that we would consider to be um, extremist or potentially radicalizing. In this case, we have very little information about what the individual accessed. He wore a vest that police describe as appearing like body armor and did not have any known links to the victims. London police say they're also coordinating with the RCMP and considering terrorism charges, though a conviction would require evidence the attack was ideologically driven and meant to intimidate, says this national security expert. So I suspect um, you know, you're going to need a thorough investigation of this person's motivations before we would potentially see any type of terrorism charges. Not only will the investigation continue at the London address listed on the suspect's charge sheet, but police will scour for online evidence too. So far, CBC News has not found any social media profiles for the accused. Usually a trove of information on a suspect and their potential radicalization, this time offering few clues about the twisted process that may have led to this much loss and suffering. Thomas Dagle, CBC News, Toronto.